All right, it's Colliding Worlds 101 here doing a review on my custom GBBR by Wheat Tech. I got this yesterday. Um, let's just get into the gun. Yeah, it's pretty badass. I don't have any gas on me, so I'm going to do a test fire. That'll be this weekend, maybe. So we're going to start from barrel to stock, and let's go. So from the beginning, from the front, we have our... I don't know what type... I just got this, so not really too sure. We have our custom suppressor. Long type. It goes inside there because the this is a this was actually a CQB version of the Wii Tech S instead. So here we go. We got this one. Has your trademarks on it, right? You can actually see that right there. Six millimeter serial number. You know, got all that good stuff. You know, here's it looks on the inside, hollowed out and then pointed, heavy. It's kind of it's just metal. From there on, we get to the, you can only see the outer, or the inner barrel, which is just your brass, regular 6mm tight bore. Originally, it comes with a tight bore, all we tags do. Like, just stock. It's kind of interesting. Makes it nice. Has your threads right here, so it's just all set up here. This is a, let's see if we can get this. This is just to hold it on safely. We go a lot tighter. This is a XTS rail system. Full metal. Uh, you know, got the number counting right here. Very nice. So we're gonna put that. We're just gonna slide the suppressor back on. Just kind of one hand. So it's kind of a long twist. The threads are kind of long, but it's pretty badass. So you can actually see it through the uh, through there. And not, not my camera, so I can't do that. Cause it's not that good. Let's take that on. All right. So we got to the rails. This is just a holding on. Just, you know, a little ring with a screw. We have our Magpul flip-up sights. You know that trademark right there, PTS sights. Very nice. You know, pull the lever, comes back up in an instant. Custom handguard or pistol grip, good for left, uh, left-handed and right-handed shooters. Very comfortable, hollowed out like all G all GBVs have a hollowed out pistol grip. Or I should say GBVR, hollowed out. Thinner, a lot more comfortable than uh, AEG since they have a motor inside. Some of the AEGs will overheat here, so that's really good. The trigger is metal. So, okay, let's just get down to the stock version of the gun because it's still stock. It just has some upgrades. Stock, the GBBR from WeTech has a full metal body, like heavy metal. Has steel, bolt catch, selector switch, and mag side mag release, I guess you'd say. I don't know what that is actually. We have our, I'm going to flip the gun over, so we can get from here. I have the dust cover open, but it does lock really easily. It doesn't have those M4 problems, just slides in there. Full metal magazine, I'm going to take a quick peek at that. I've got the mag release right there. I'm trying to get this thing in focus again. There you go. So this is your mag, full metal. Put your green gas, propane, duster gas. We know that is just air. Um, trying to get this in focus again. It's a little bit weird shape for a mag. Well, that's where you feed the BBs in right here is a little top part right here a uh, little gas spot right there uh, that little lever right there see those little grooves right here that pulls this hammer back so you can dry fire if it's back you can actually dry fire but if it's forward it will lock the bolt when they're out of ammo good for you know making a movie scene or anything right over here so yeah this is metal I don't know what type of metal, steel it goes on probably still steel uh, you have, I don't know, this is just for the sling. Just get this back into focus. My camera's being stupid as hell. Okay. Stock. Literally stock, butt stock. You know, just we being like that. It's a, I saw it was a six position, six position, might be a five position, I don't know, but fully extended, very nice. Metal buffer tube, metal kingpin, or whatever you want to call that. Metal f uh, forward assist actually does work. Tried it. Uh, let's see here. Internals are all metal, of course. If you want to hear that, I can do that. Um, let me get back. Let me see what else I can put into this gun. Um, basically, that's about it. But the original GBR from WeTech had the regular standard M4, just like rounded. But the person I got this from put rails on it. Very a little bit nicer. Mag. That's inside the mag well. Let's see if we can cock this gun. Right here. I'll show you the bolt catch. So we're gonna just try and do this right because it's kind of difficult with one hand. Here, got opens up the dust cover. 
You see everything there. Push it back. He's got that. We got open this up. Sorry, I'm doing this one hand because the bolt is not closing because there's no magnet. Because I put the bolt catch on so it's holding the bolt. That's everything inside of it, as you can see. Well, sort of see, because there's no not enough light. I'll get lighting in here later for other videos, but here you go. That's the whole thing. Sorry, sideways. That's the whole thing right there. Then we're going to go from here. We're going to go right here onto this bolt catch. We're going to push this thing upwards from this little groove. When you push it up, see? See here, right here? Okay, that's right. The light right here. Connect. Pushes the whole bolt forward. Charging handle gets locked with these little grooves. That little kind of clip thing right here. It's out. And the charging handle does have little teeth right here for the like, grip. So, yeah, full metal body. For what you're getting with the price, it's the stock, with the retail is actually not that bad. Like 250 I got. So, uh, yeah, pretty good though. Uh, customed. This is not the original, but internals are still the same, just externally customized. Mag pull. Got the mag. And I also have, when we were back, let's step to the side. Like you saw in my other video, if you did, check it out. Wee Tech 1911. Very nice, full metal construction. Not like this kind of metal, but same thing really double safety from pistol to hammer you know like we, okay double safety sorry this is this one safety this is the other safety only plastic piece is this that's it see i got my whole we tech setup going on here it's good i'll do a shooting review on both of them so I'm, i'll do the shooting review on the rifle uh this weekend so stay tuned if you liked the video and you enjoyed it like this video, subscribe, comment, whatever. I want to hear your feedback. I need to know everything. What can I do to change this thing? Because I still need to get a tripod for this camera. So yeah, Colliding Worlds, going out. See you next time.